And if you go to the book of Revelation chapter 5, you will read there that the scene opens with God the Father sitting on the throne. And he has a book in his right hand, and it is sealed with seven seals. As you read further, you will read that there was a mighty angel who shouted with a loud voice, Who is worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof? The record says that there was no one who was found worthy either in heaven or here below. But the prophet of God who was documenting these things, the Bible says that he wept much. But much to his comfort, the record says that one of the elders touched his shoulder and told him, Weep not, because the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. And therefore the whole host of heaven began, they broke into a shout of joy. They broke into great celebration, saying, Worthy is the Lamb. So this is the uh, theme that we'll be considering throughout this program this evening. I now invite all of you to close your eyes as we pray. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for gathering us here. We thank you that you have allowed us to reach the end of 2022. So tonight, as God's envoys ministers to us, together with Rudo a cappella, we invite the presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will touch every ear that shall listen to the songs that shall be presented this evening. I also pray, dear God, that you will heal those that are sick. You will comfort those that are in sorrow. Lord, that you will bring back those that are lost and you will strengthen the faith of the faithful. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I am Fred Mate, your host for the evening. And this evening, God's envoys will be ministering to us under the theme, Worthy is the Lamb. God's envoys will be supported by a group called Rudo a Cappella that needs no introduction. They're a group of young men who have been in existence since 2009. And their fame has spread across this great nation and beyond like a bushfire. It is my singular honor and privilege now to call to the stage Rudo a Cappella to bless us with two songs. May you be blessed. When I think deep about God and His majesty, His worthiness, I realize that for Him to say my praises, God comes down, He humbles Himself. But no manner of praise can match His godly likeness. This is why I'll sing this song for you, Mulimu. Mulimu, Lulumbe Kawena, Munga Wupilo, Kachenu Nikamuso. Please accept my praises to you. This I pray in humbleness of heart. Please accept my praises to you. This I pray in humbleness of heart. I will lift my eyes to the mountains. Where comes my help? My help comes from God. He will always watch. You never knock no sleep. I will lift my eyes to the mountains. Where comes my help? 
My help comes from God. He will always watch over Israel. Watch as me still. You never not no sleep. Just like a deer pants for the stream. So does my soul pant for you, my God. Though sometimes I never realize that your hand always covers me. Sing this song for you, Muli Mu. Muli Mu. Muli Mu. Lulume Kawe Na. Munga Mupilo. Kacheno Ni Kamu Uso. Please accept my praises to you. This I praise and humbleness of heart. Where is God? Yeah, 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 yeah
Round of applause for Rudo a cappella. So as I have indicated, the theme for this evening is worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah, church. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb. That was wonderful music from Rudo a cappella. Now, obviously many of you who have come here have come here to listen to a group called God's Envoys. You might be interested to know a little bit about this group. So God's Envoys has been in existence for the past 24 years. I suppose for a time longer than some of the people in this congregation gathered here. And um, personally, I would say that I have been amazed at the dedication of this group, the members of this group. One of their greatest talents, I should say, has been their dedication. They are very gifted singers, all of them. But one thing that stands out is their dedication. I understand that they have sung in almost every province of this country. They have responded to calls for singing appointments at birthdays. They have been to programs where they have sung at graduations. They have sung at building promotions. They have sung at various, various programs, including crusades and camp meetings. This group has been a blessing. And like I said earlier, they have been singing for the past 24 years. This evening, they are prepared to overload you with uh, wonderful music. And uh, as I have said, this is a celebration. We are at the end of the year. We must celebrate the successes of 2022 we must uh, celebrate whatever it is that we have achieved in our lives this year. But also we must recognize that God has brought us this far. At this moment, it is my privilege to invite. It is my privilege to invite God's envoys to walk up to the stage. As they come, they are going to bless us with six songs. If you come from where I come from, would actually say Sigis, okay? They are going to bless us with Sigis songs. And uh, the last of those songs, they will sing it together with Rudo a cappella. Be blessed.
what you would say. Uh, when I was younger, I used to sing a little bit like Nathan, the first tenor. But now I have grown older and I've grown wiser. So I just sing second tenor and I do just fine. You see, I don't want to struggle like the basemen when they're singing. Uh, they grimace on their faces. Uh, and the first tenors, they have to go so high. At the second tenor level, we are so cool, we're so relaxed. Uh, the ones who are more relaxed are the baritones, right? Yeah. So now, 2023 is here, brothers and sisters. One of the things you should leave behind in 2022 are worries. Those things should remain behind. Now, you have listened to very wonderful music sung here by God's envoys. Um, so, some of you are concerned. That music is kuno or I know you are wiser. You are very wise. You know what to do. And we have answers for you. That music must not remain here. Hallelujah, church. That music must go with you in your car, it must go with you in your house. Even in your bedroom, if you want. The choice is yours. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I am privileged. I am holding in my hand God's Envoy's latest album. Uh, 
you must have heard me right. It says here, God's envoys. Mwe chilibwe. Huh? Chive mbe twine. Mwe chilibwe. Meaning, my rock. So, in the segment that will be coming, you will listen to this uh, great song that has been released by God's envoys, Mwe Chilibwe. And you don't want to uh, miss out to have this wonderful music with you. So there are a number of wonderful songs. Two of the songs that are on this album have already been performed here this night. And you will listen to two more songs that are on this uh, album. So I urge you all not to miss out. These copies are only at 100 kwacha. Yeah, only 100 kwacha. Pocket change, eh? Yeah, less than what you spend on talk time. So please do not do a disservice to yourself in 2023. Make sure you obtain yourself a copy of this uh, CD. All right. So make sure you obtain yourself a copy of this CD. So God's Envoys will be coming up and they'll be blessing us with more songs, uh, blessing us with more uh, music, including some of the songs that are on this uh, CD. And as you can see, as glorious as they're looking, uh, the wonderful songs that they have sung, you can all get them here, um, except a few other songs. May you be blessed. Wow. 
evening. Amen. Brother, he's a lamb. Amen. I thought we don't lose this moment, but speak about the lamb or the Jacob. What a break. Is that fine? Turn to your neighbor and ask him, do you know the lamb? See, this gentleman out here dressed like me. Some of them look like me. And they wanted to sing like me. But you see, I'm the humble one in this group. I choose not to sing in front of people. But there's a song that they sang, Ibai Beleangu. And I don't know if, when I got the album last night, I played it the whole night too. It put me to sleep, woke me up this morning too. Amen. You can ask my wife to tell you that. My sister this afternoon asked me, is that the only song on the album? And I said, honey, you don't know what Bible is to me. See, there was a time once in America, and I'm sure Paddy, you know, when a president signed the proclamation to declare all slaves free. And slaves were given a choice. You leave the farm, fend for yourself, find your own meals, find your own clothes, find your own shelter, or stay back, be my worker, I'll give you three square meals and a house to stay in. Now, a few of them left. Some decided to stay. Those who left found life was hard and difficult. You know, they went walking around the streets of America, looking through the windows of shops, looking at nice clothes and fancy stuff. But because they were black people like you and me, they sang about everything. I remember because they looked at their pockets, some pockets had holes, some didn't even have pockets at all. They began to sing a song. I got a shoe, you got a shoe, oh God's children got a shoe. When I get to heaven, gonna put on my shoe, I'm gonna walk all over God's heaven. You know that song? You see, some of them decided America wasn't safe enough because other people were not happy what the president did. So they went after them, lynching them, hanging them, killing them. They found a way of escape, and that was in water. So whenever they would jump into the water, the dogs wouldn't come in, neither those were pursuing them. And then they turned into another song. Wait in the water Wait in the water, children. Wait in the water. God's going to travel the water. You know that song too? Yes. You see, I told you I can sing. I'm the humble one here. But there was this man by the name of George Washington Cleaver. You see, slaves went by numbers. They went by letters. And this one stepped out of his slave master with a number turned out into this city and asked, what's the name of the city? They told him Washington. He says, I'll call myself Washington. Found a statue and asked, whose statue is that? They told him, George. He says, I'll call myself George Washington. But then I'll cleave to my people. So he named himself George Washington Cleaver. He was the first black American who found a cure or medicine for his fellow uh, black people. He got groundnuts, pounded them, made oils out of it, made medicines for mothers who gave birth to babies in kitchen rooms and on tables. And when the Senate in America found out, they called him and said, Chief, come here. Where did you learn all this from? Which, which white man taught you? And you know what he told them? I learned it from this old black book called Bible. One of the people on the panel said, Chief, I'm a Christian too. I've read it from A to Z, Genesis to Revelation. I've never found anywhere where the Bible says, get groundnuts, turn them into oil for your food, turn it into medicine for your cure. He says, sir, it's true. Because in this book, you don't find it written there. But when I read this book for myself, it taught me about the God who created all things. And this God then spoke to me and told me what to do with the groundnuts. Don't just open it and see black and white. Meet God here. Now let me take you through history. A blast into the past. I'll be quick with you. Now turn to your neighbor and tell them, follow the lamb. You see, when you open the Bible in Genesis chapter 1, it speaks to us of creation. Then sin came upon us. Adam and Eve decided 
to go and fall into sin and they opened the floodgates that brought in death and war. But then a lamb was presented to them, a lamb for their cover. For the Bible says man became naked. Follow the lamb. Some of us have gone through 2022 and we've been exposed. A spouse cheating. Your heart's been broken. You've been found out at your workplace and dismissed. Follow the lamb, for he is Calvary. The reason you've not found rescue enough or shelter is because you have not yet followed the lamb. You see, the good book says, and the book don't lie. There once was a man with his son. Got a word from the Lord says, come up, worship me. Give me a sacrifice of your only begotten son. They went up a mountain three days later without a lamb. And the son asked, Daddy, fire is here. Wood is here. Surely an altar would build, but where is the lamb? Then before long, it was announced, you are the sacrifice. So he lay himself there as an obedient child as he was. Tears flowing from both father and son as they say their goodbyes. 2022 has come hard for most of us. We've lost loved ones. We've shed tears. The only hope we had for the future taken away to us by death. As Abraham lifted up that knife, about to drop it on the sun, he heard a voice. Abraham, Abraham. We call that a double vocative. God showing emotion to it. He says, don't kill the boy. Look behind me. Follow the lamb. He is your substitute. You're still here complaining, still here crying. Maybe your tears have blocked you from seeing the lamb. God is saying tonight, follow the lamb. He is your substitute. Your loved ones lie cold in the grave. But let me be that substitute. See, fast forward. Israel, as a nation, went into bondage. 430 years. The sermon my elder, Siavapa, preached last night. Then they were told, an angel of death will pass by. But whoever I found with blood on their doorposts and on the side of the lintels making a symbol of the cross, there I'll pass over. Is the lamb you pass over. Turn to your neighbor and tell them, follow the lamb. The lamb is your cover. The lamb is your substitute. And the lamb is your shield. I'm a witness of the power of the blood. When you fast forward, jump to the New Testament, the Bible then tells us a baby was born one day. He is the only being born as king. See, when you go to Europe and other places where we still have monarchs or Iswatini down here, Everyone who is born in the royal family is a prince or a princess. I too was also born in a royal family. I too was given a royal name. It might disturb you if I told you that name. In Tonga, it's called Ha Samba Buloa. Iba Huba Samba Menda. Meaning, should I take my throne, there's need for some ritual killings, and then I drop myself in someone's blood, then I have power with elements to cause rain to fall and thunder to come down. You know, you know that stuff. But then my granddaddy found a fountain that flows from Emmanuel's veins. And not just blood flowing there, but water too. And then he said, forever, my children and generations after me will take the lamb's blood. And that's why I stand as your pastor, not your chief tonight. For worthy is that lamb. See, when that baby was born, the only one born king, everyone else is born Prince William, Prince George, Prince that, waiting for the queen to die, waiting for the next king to die, so they are coronated as king. He's the only one who was born king. Someone tells me when he was born, Mary didn't know what to do with him because she understood he was both holy and he was both hungry. But praise God, she did both. Breastfed him and praised his name. It couldn't even stop an angel choir to say, we cannot keep quiet. We must come down for this lamb. 
<laughs> it is only until he gets to Jordan, the symbol of death, burial, and resurrection, that John the Baptist says, Behold the Lamb that takes away the sins of the world. You see, in the Old Testament, he was all about Israel. But in the New Testament, he became about all nations. He takes away the sin, not of Israel, not of the Jews, but the Gentile too. A few years down the line, at the age of 33, an angry crowd stood around, took him to a place called Golgotha, nailed him on that tree. They hung him high and they stretched him wide. But he refused to die because he knew someday someone must choose him now. Choose the right. But you see, that was not the end of it all. I've told you this story, but I'll say it one, once again. There was a small village somewhere. And it tells us of a certain thief. He was very proficient. He knew everybody's schedule. He knew when to jump in, when to jump out, when to go in, when to step out. One night, the village went out on a party. Went out to celebrate, like we would do at New Year's Eve. I mean, at, 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 at midnight today. But one man remained in his house. Because he knew the villagers' habits, he decided to cover in for them. This thief decided to strike that very night. And as he stepped into one home, the alarm rang. And unfortunate for him, he was on the chase that day. He ran as fast as his legs could take him. His heart was beating faster than his legs could move. The angry crowd and the mob gathering speed and space behind him. He turns one way, another crowd forms his side. He turns the other way, and the crowd forms his side until a little house remained in his sight. And he dashed there with all the hope he had and then getting to the door, hoping it's locked, found it open, and he lands himself on the ground while the door shuts behind him. To his horror, the owner of the house was sitting right in front of him next to a, ch uh, a chimney taking warmth from the fire there. They looked each other. The owner knew this guy is in trouble. So he says to him, what is the issue? He says, sir, please, if I could only hide a while with you, I'll leave your home. I won't take anything. The chief says, no, that won't be the case tonight. The mob surrounded the home and the chants began to cry. If you don't bring him in the next 15 seconds, we'll burn down the house together, the two of you. Looking at his hopeless situation, blood was already flowing from the barbed wires he had tried to escape from, from the little pangas and knives that were thrown towards him. The owner of the house tells him, quickly take off your clothes. He says, why would you want to embarrass me this way? I'm already a thief. I'm already a fugitive. I'm to be sentenced to death. Should I die naked? He says, take off your clothes. Right now. So he takes them off, ashamed of himself, showing the bruises of past years, of past crimes. As he takes them off, to his shock, the owner of the house begins to take his clothes down also. And he tells him, where are my clothes? Let them be a cover for you tonight. But not for this night only, but forever. Occupy this home. And then as the countdown went, five and four and three and two, the door opened. All that people saw was a bloodstained t-shirt. Trousers that were torn and they began hell stones. Some punched him, others kicked him, some pierced him until the man lay dead on the floor. With the thief watching over the window, why does he deserve such beatings when it is me who is the sinner? As the angry crowd looked around later that morning, they noticed the man they had killed was the innocent one. The man they had killed had covered their dates. The man they had killed had paid for their medication. He healed some of them because he was a physician there. But unlike this man, there is a lamb. Follow the lamb. David tells me in Psalms 24 that a question was asked, who is this king of glory? Because you see, he died as a lamb. Angel choir came down at his birth as a lamb. You see, David calls him my seed. You see, he was younger than David in time, but older than David in eternity. Who is this king of glory? Then David says when he comes and goes up and ascends, the gates begin to shake like they were singing here. 
and not only the gates, he enters with his blood and presents before God the Father. Now, as he does a presentation, something else must begin to happen. In order for him to become worthy, apart from his blood and the water that he sheds for me, a crown must be put on his head. Now, it's in the Old Testament times, coronation, putting a king on the throne took two things. There was the coronation and the enthronement. Tell your neighbor coronation. Coronation is a word where a king or someone to stand as king went to a temple or a sanctuary. But then enthronement was done at the royal palace. But when I read my Bible, the good book says, and the book don't lie, this lamb stands in a temple that is also a palace. And in his hand, he's given a scepter. On his head is put a crown that he becomes king of kings and lord of lords. You see, soon he must return. But he cannot have his kingdom without you and me. My grandmother used to sing a song. I don't know about your grandmother. Up above of my hair, up above of my hair, I feel the music in the air. I do believe it. I really do believe it. There is a heaven somewhere. But you know what? God then always has a sweet and better song tonight. Let me call them to sing that song for you. That as you make your choice, you make the right right now. See, I want to leave two proposals to you. How many, how many proposals? There is what is called patience in the Christian walk. And there is what is called endurance in the Christian walk. You are either in one of these spaces, either of patience or of endurance. You must ask your God right now, not tomorrow, don't procrastinate, but right now. Patience means stay put and let the lamb take the lead. Let him fight your battles for you. You just pick up the pieces and the trophies. Endurance means get yourself up with the armor of the Christian soldier. Go into the war, step into the fire, because even there he stands true and forever. Would you choose the right? As I sing this song, I want you to prayerfully make that choice for God right now. Not after this meeting, but right now. And when they are done, I'm going to call my pastor friend, Lucana, to give us a prayer. But for now, let them sing the song. As they sing it, let it be your prayer and my prayer. Amen. Amen.
not been out there partying, but you chose to be here. This is the right place. And God intended that this be the right moment. Because he wants to give you the right blessing. Now listen, it is not every blessing you must tell everyone about. Because others won't want to see you blessed. They'll try to kill you the, the way Joseph's brother tried to kill him. God wants to birth you into destiny. For soon he'll come. As he impregnates you with his destiny, it is for you to hold and occupy till he comes. For soon he must come. I invite my pastor brother, Ilukina, to come. And I'll ask Pastor Mwinga to stand where he is. That even as we pray, he prays for us. You too will stand in the gap for us there with your hands stretched over the congregation. You could be watching us over social media on YouTube and you want this prayer to reach you. All you need to ask is God may this prayer be done on me, on my behalf as the pastor prays. Our eyes are closed and the pastor will take it from you. We are praying together. Sovereign creator of the universe, our God and our Father, we are so delighted today to raise kudos and praises to your holy name. Confidently, we can say, indeed, we have come this far by faith. Leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus Christ and trusting in his word that has never failed us. As a church, today we recognize that had it not been for the Lamb, Sweet. our cause of existence thing. And so now that the Lord of hosts has demonstrated his grace, his power over our lives, and we are but a few, few hours to get into 2023. We solicit for blessings from on high. That Jehovah, you will lead us to green pastures the days that are ahead of us. And that you will open opportunities that we have never seen before. And the Lord, you will lead all the way until we hear the trumpet sound. Your word has led us to the Lamb. And indeed, we have experienced the Lamb in our lives. We are God's children today because of the Lamb that was slain since the foundation of the earth. And it is our prayer, Lord, that we will pay our allegiance to the Lamb. That Jesus Christ will optimize our lifestyles. That Jesus Christ will take center stage of all that which is indeed made of what we are. At the end of the day, glory and honor be given to your holy name. We surrender the congregation now into your hands that we know 2022 might have not been too good for many. Some of us passed through thin and thick. Some of us lost our beloved ones. Some of us lost our em employment and our businesses have not moved in the right way we desired. Today, as we come to the close of this year, 2022, we want to speak in the language of Paul, that we want to forget the past. And one thing that we are looking up to is but the grace and the mercy of Jehovah guiding and leading us all the way into 2023. That the misery we have undergone in 2022 will today be pronounced over as we begin a new page. We solicit God that you will step in now and deliver us even from the shackles of the devil and appear before us in a manner that will liberate us from the hands of the enemy. At the end of the day, may it be said, worthy, worthy is the lamb 
we pray now unto you who is able to hold the church hold the church with your power and with your mighty hold the families present here today and those that are at home represented may they be touched by the palpable power of the holy spirit and that from thenceforth loving heavenly father they will know that indeed jehovah is their guide jehovah is their protector jehovah is but the only power in their lives may 2023 begin with blessings indeed we hear showers of blessings let these blessings fall upon all of us for this is our asking only in the sweetest name the name that is above all names the name of jesus christ as all of us will shout and say amen amen, amen. what do we say again amen And uh, God's own voice will bless us with a song one more time. But before they do, I have some instructions to give. And I'd like you to listen to me very carefully. So if we are all going to get out of this place in good time, the owners of the following vehicles must ensure that they begin to troop out now or at the end of... Um, um, what I'm saying so that we can have a smooth transition. So please listen carefully. BAP 2033. BAP 2033. ALZ 4747. AID 1112. ABZ 7234. AIB. 6459 BAT 9670 you can see the numbers projected there and the list please make sure that you see what is projected uh, some of you may not see AHB 8283 BAF 1739 BLB 1250 BBA 3659 and BAP 3086 BAZ 4347 ABR 1771 so the reason why we are asking you to go out is that you have blocked uh, most of the exits. So if you will go outside and clear the exits, everyone here is going to come out in good time. If you don't, we are going to be stuck here for a long time. So away from that, like I said, we have come to the end of this year's EYC. I'd like to thank all of you I'd like to thank you, all of you, sincerely for showing up and being a part of this EYC. You are the reason this program has been a success. And thank you so much to God's envoys. Mr. Chairman, you have seen for yourself uh, what next year should be, perhaps where it should be. Uh, I leave you all in the hands of God's envoys. May God bless you in 2023. Ensure that as you go out, amen. Please clap.